morning, everybody. A little Wednesday morning, drones and coffee. How's everybody doing this morning? Yeah, just brought uh, Laney to school. I had a few minutes here before I head out to the cemetery. Welcome in, Jaybird, uh, Jay Santiago. Who else? George Kelly. Welcome in. How's everybody doing today? Uh, for those of you who are flying the Avada, Two, they're about a two. How's it working out? Captain Joe and I went uh, flying yesterday. Got to uh, test out some, uh, a lot of stuff actually. Let me put the link here if anybody wants to hop in. You are welcome to. I'm not going to stay on too long. No Fly for Fun show tonight. Uh, the Fly for Fun show is every other week now. And Captain Ray's show is every Thursday now. So. Next week, we will have, who do we have? We have Jack from Half Chrome, so. Uh, yeah, took the Avada 2 out yesterday, Captain Joe and myself, and uh, yeah, we got to test some stuff. Uh, of course, we did the easy acro uh, features, which does the flips and the rolls. We did that. Um, we did test the Wi-Fi, uh, wireless Wi-Fi uh sharing uh joe was flying his drone and i was uh, watching him on my uh, iphone which that works out pretty good you used to, before you would have to plug the cable into the goggles ronnie bell good morning uh so that worked real good uh what else did we do we i flew the air three with the new goggles three uh with the sticks uh, with the rc2 controller so that also worked really good. Is about it too easy for beginners? Oh, absolutely, Jay Bird. Yeah, yeah, it could really be. I would go as far as to say the the Avada Two could be the only drone you own. Uh, you know, if you really wanted to kind of get that experience and uh, wasn't, you know, especially the photo and not shoot, not too crazy, or uh, well, not too sure about the photo part of the uh, Avada Two. Not a lot of uh, just photos are taken with the. Uh, uh, about a two or you know any kind of fpv but uh the video feed from this coming up yeah it's it's great and you can pick up a uh used about a two fairly reasonable so that's and still a great drone joe uh, flew his yesterday but uh Peter, what's up yeah i'm sitting around this morning Brought Laney to school, and then uh, Rodney Bell. Yeah, Rodney, I saw you. Uh, you fly. You was flying the about a two yesterday, right? Yeah. So that's what I was saying. We did a lot of testing. Joe and I got the, uh, of course, all the easy acro to work. Uh, we did the wireless, uh, wireless broadcasting to my phone, and uh, one thing you do have to have, you do have to have the fly app. Now, I don't know if you have to have a fly account, a DJI fly account, but you definitely, you know, to watch it on the iPhone without the, uh, without the wire, plugging in the wire to the goggles. But the, the, the best thing I think we've done, or at least that we tried, was the flying the uh, Air 3 with the goggles 3. Very, very, uh, very easy to, to uh, I say uh, you got to bind the goggles. You got to switch over. You go to the goggles and switch it over to the Air 3. Uh, okay, you did a live stream using the fly app, okay? Tar Heel Aerials. Um, but, yeah, man, flying that Air 3 with the goggles uh, was pretty neat. And um, what was really neat, when you took those goggles away from your face, the screen went blank in the goggles until you put it back up to your face. So that was pretty neat. Uh, you, you are able to zoom with the camera. You are able to swap it over from uh, semi to normal to uh, sport. As far as uh, swapping it, yeah, you can swap it from camera to video. I'm not sure about the seven times zoom stuff like that, or, or the, you know, the three times. But uh, you can. Um, do some more testing on that yourself, but it's pretty neat. I, and then I did fly it with a Motion 3 controller, which uh, 
I don't know. It, it feels so easy, to, natural to fly with the sticks and you find it. I feel like you find it just like you would fly your camera drone. But the minute you put the sticks in your hand, the uh, motion three in your hand, to me, it, you know, you want to fly. It's kind of like a FPV drone. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, Alex, I hope to do a little flying this afternoon with the A2. Yep, Nevada 2, you'll love it, Alex. And Alex, you just got it, I believe. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting on a return label from DJI so I can send this other one back that they didn't cancel in time. So uh, I want to get that thing sent back. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty neat. You know, we were, uh, Captain Joe was flying uh, probably, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches off the ground at full speed. Was really running there pretty good. Uh, we, um, what else did we do? I don't know. We just tested, played with the, you know, when you first get a drone, you got to go through that menu. You know, check your return to home and check all your features. You could tweak your rates a little bit. So that, there's a lot, uh, you know, going to Best Buy today and buying one Ega. Uh, there's a lot to uh, to getting it set up. And do you buy? No, uh, Warren. Well, I bought the uh, I bought the uh, Avada two. What I did when I ordered it that morning, last Thursday morning from uh, DJI, I didn't realize I had a. Uh, what did I have in my cart extra? I had a uh, Air 3 battery. I don't know. Maybe at one time I was thinking about getting it. So I didn't really need that. And so I canceled the order within, I don't know, a couple hours and ordered it from Amazon. and got it the next day, but it came in. So they're wait I'm waiting for a shipping label to send this thing back. Maybe I'll just ought to keep it. So when they run out, huh, I could just sell it for more. <laughs> no, it's uh, they'll they'll. They did call me and asked about, you know, my refund. Uh, it was a, under a refund review, so. But I do want to get it sent back. And I do have my Avada, uh, my original Avada Soul. So. I got to get that packed up. I hope to get off a couple of flights later today. I'm supposed to. Yeah, you know, yesterday we were out at the park, Captain Joe and I, and I think we had a, uh, actually had gusts up to 24 miles an hour, but uh, actually the Avada 2 did pretty decent in it. Joe put the Avada 1 up, and uh, it, it did okay. It, it seemed to, to uh, fly a little sideways more than Avada 2, but I will say, man, look, the minute he fired a Avada, the original Avada up, you knew it, but. Before that, Joe was off probably, I don't know, to the left of us, about 150 feet. And maybe you really couldn't hear the uh, the Avada 2, the new drone. It, it's very quiet. You'll be very surprised at, at the sound. I got to go to a meeting. All right, Rodney, thanks. Steven Drones, welcome in. Hike and fly. But, yeah, the, the sound coming off the Avada 2 is is so quiet. Uh, and, and it's really a pleasure to fly. You know, the other... The Avada is kind of like, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you remember, maybe I kind of related to the old cowboy movies, you know, when they used to call you for dinner, ring the bell. Well, you might as well just put one of them things up where you're fixing to fly and start ringing it and yell, hey, I'm fixing to fly a drone. But, uh, hey, man, the Avada 2 is definitely, uh, like yesterday, the guy was cutting grass, and be honest with you, sounded a little more, uh, was uh probably quieter joe me you telling stories about us well yeah i was till you come on i can't say nothing bad about you now oh my god's on it no, i said I stuff bad about you yesterday while well, you are <laughs> that's all right joe look hey joe look this is just for you yeah <laughs> there you go i got one answer <laughs> yeah but your man is bigger <laughs> i made these to hang off the back Oh, Lord. No, but uh, Joe, I was telling everybody what a great time we had. And, and you know, I think we worked out some, uh, I say we worked out some kinks, but, you know, you got to dig through that menu. There's a lot in that menu uh, as you, as when you get any drone. Now, I did uh, one thing I'm going to jump over real quick. I, uh, I te Lauren texted me last night, Donna Hard. There's a lot of updates. There's an update for almost every drone that you go to fire up as of probably yesterday or last night. So check that this morning. Uh, so, I'm not sure what most of it is like bug type fixes, nothing hardware or, or you know, for the uh, drone. Yeah. But uh, 
So did you have one on a new Avada? I don't know. I haven't fired it back up since we did, but we didn't have anything problems yesterday morning. But he said yesterday now, you know. So well, I, I guess I'll. Yeah, I got something to do this morning, and I got. got John Flynn, welcome in. Yeah, I, to I guess it means I don't fly today. Yeah, I talked to John on the way back uh, to Hammond yesterday, and uh, I know he he uh, was flying. He got a nice flight in, but. Yeah, a lot, a lot in that menu, Joe. You know, as we know, when you when you get a new drone, hey, dig through that menu. Uh, there's a lot of little features and tricks, and get your drone set up. Of course, set your return to home, and you know, just uh, yeah. And I will say, Michael Blade, what's up? You know, I guess I learned. Joe probably knew it before me, but you can't fly two drones with uh, two different controllers at the same time. Or. <laughs> Yes, see, Joe, let's, let's work that story. All right, I was flying. Well, what were we doing? We were testing the goggles yes. with the Air 3. So make a long story short. Alex, listen right. in because you do this. You, you might do a lot of sunrise and and, and uh, hyperlapse. So I, was, I said, let me shoot a little hyperlapse. The, the clouds were moving pretty nice. I had the guy on the tractor. So set my hyperlapse up. Got that done. I think I did a six second, six or seven seconds. So. I said, Joe, let's maybe see how easy it is back to bind the or the Motion 3 with the Avada 2. So I set the Avada yeah. 2 down, and, and, and I'm looking in the goggles, and I'm like, I'm getting a feed. I said, man, I got a picture in here, but it looked more like a picture. I really wasn't. And so make a long story short, well, guess where the Air 3 was? The Air 3 was still up in the air, so yeah. You know, I, I'll go as far as say I had the senior moment. Joe just uh, watched me have it. So, uh, well, we both had it because I, I, th I wasn't even thinking about the drone being in the air. Well, we had a, I, you know, be honest in reality, not hey, not making no excuse. We had a lot of crap. I mean, like he had his Avada spread out. I had my Avada spread out. It was like, Joe, is this your motion three? Is this your, is this your uh, yeah. gimbal cover? You know, so yeah, we, you got to watch Johnny's always in the back of my car looking. Yeah, I always try to leave with some. Oh, Ray was in here. He got booted out. Yeah, so. Uh, but, we, uh, but Johnny did have a track moment yesterday. That wind picked up in that uh, round uh, launch pad that he has. Took off like a wheel. And Johnny <laughs> took off after it. And I couldn't get my camera fast enough to get video of it. Yeah, that wheel went for about, I don't know, a block. Like, you know how something starts rolling? Uh, I spent a lot good of time. hundred yards away. Familiar as to where. Yeah, Jerry, and that's a good point, Jerry. Hey. You know, uh, I've started yeah. videos. <laughs> John's right. He said Louisiana double trouble. We were trouble yesterday. Yeah, we we looked like two. Uh, uh, I don't know what to what to say. We were, you know, out there. We looked like two old men trying to learn something. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? Uh, I think we we got a lot done as far as uh, I mean, we got to do the wireless uh, transmission system. Uh, I did get home. The minute I got home, Joe, I did the uh, quick transfer uh, from the Avada 2 work flawlessly. So that's that's easily done. Uh, we did get to, uh, you know, fly the Avada, the, uh, the Air 3 with the goggles, which looks awesome, I will say, especially flying with the sticks. But, you know, personally, my personal opinion, the minute you put that Motion 3 control in your hand, you just relate to flying an FPV drone. So be very careful. When you fly the Air 3, or I think you can fly the Mini 4 Pro, the Air 3, and the Mavic 3. Mavic 3. So, yeah, the wireless, wireless viewing. Uh, yeah, Senior, that's a pretty good name right there, Warren. Senior Delinquents. Yeah, there you go. I'm yeah, still waking yeah. up, so hey, everybody in the chat. Hey, but hey, I'm not afraid to admit when we do something silly, I'll do, but you know, because, uh, yeah. hey, look, picture. You know, Joe had yeah, that. Make box. some shirts like that. Make huh? some shirts like that. We'll be senior delinquents. Yeah, senior delinquents. But uh, you know, we had man, we had parts and and bags spread out all over yeah. between two trucks, and and trying to bind the the uh, Air Three. And somebody uh, last night was saying that they couldn't get it to bind. I don't know. I no. Uh, you go in a, the first thing you do is of course fire up the Air Three. And go into the menu of the goggles, and you switch it to uh, you know the Air Three, and then I see I had to bind the controller. Joe, did I bind a controller to the drone? No, 
Well, you were trying to do it to the drone, but it wouldn't do it to the drone. It goes to the goggles. Goggles. Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it's, it does. It's it's the Wi-Fi right between the just. That's all they worry about right now because that was on. I looked at somebody else last night and they were talking about that. Well, that's a little sequence, and then you know, be honest with you, when I you know, because Joe and I told Joe after we hit and landed when I landed my Air Three, and it's like, oh Lord, I'll I'll never get to fly to Avada again with all this binding and unbinding. But actually, the Avada Two. I didn't really have to do anything but fire it up, and it went right back to the motion three yeah. without without doing anything. Yeah, that was that was the thing that was said in um, I think it was Aldrin said it at Alien Drones. I think he said that um, that you don't have to unbind them. Like right now, if I fly the Avada, the first one with the sticks, and then fly it with the controller, you got to rebind it each time. All right, Joe. Let's go. Let's go over the ac easy acro. All right, so we you flip it in easy yeah. acro, easy to do, and you leave it on all the time. But all right, so there is what's it called? Uh, 180? Uh, 180 slide. 180. No, 180 slide, and is it flips? The, then the other one was was flips. Yeah, but the 180. No, not the 180. One that says slide. Did we really figure out? Right. Does it do anything or? <laughs> Mark White said yesterday on Paul's show when I said that, he said that the one that he watched might have been Potato Jet. That all it does is when you fly it, it kind of just takes the back of the drone and turns it like, like that. Yeah, I, know, I didn't I, see it do it. You were doing it, and I was trying to look. That's the time when I was watching on, on my phone. I didn't see anything, and I was, I'm was i going to reach out maybe to Me Billy either. this morning and uh, just see what, what yeah. he said about that. So, well, Maybe that's one of the bug fixes. I don't know. I, I don't know what what's it. Uh, I know I tried to because we even tried to get a point of interest like those garbage cans or something or fire close or something. I really didn't see anything that it did. So if anybody knows, hey, let us know because we'll definitely go back out and test it again. And I'm getting a bu bunch of people that see my videos now and they'll tell me, why didn't you go through that gap? Why did you go through that gap? Why did not you go through that gap? You know, it is, you're right. I haven't gone through a bunch of gaps lately. But I've been just learning a drone. Yeah, it is. And I think it's, it is a learning, uh, even though, you know, we both flown before. I know uh, I did go around and come through the cars and went through that. Uh, I did go through the barrels a couple of times, but you know, it's different. I say uh, <clears throat> it's a, it's a hair bigger. Ray Ray. Hey, Johnny, Captain Joe. What you doing, Ray Ray? Ray. Getting ready to go to. He's on his way to Best Buy. Oh, you fit, oh, you going to Best Buy to pick up your new drone? Yeah, yeah. Cheryl said I could get it. <laughs> oh, we ain't worried about Cheryl. I mean, just well, is she listening? She's right next to me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Captain Ray Johnny, the one that stepped on it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys had a good day yesterday. We did, yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we got to we got to do a lot of testing and tweaked out the menu. It's it's a lot to it when you get a new drone. That's good. That's good. You had a great place to fly. It was a little windy, but the the wind the wind really didn't affect uh, didn't affect too much at all. Don't worry. I was shot. She said, "Keep that thing away from me." <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, Matthew's going to get out. <laughs> it was a uh, it was a good day and. Uh, no but Joe, you only brought you only brought the body and the body one. You uh, two, you didn't bring the drone, did you? Did you? Right. What she say? She doesn't. She doesn't even want to be close to it. Oh, 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 oh. She's afraid it might go like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I got five minutes to kill. I'm early for rehab. Uh, it's a is it a, is a safe drone to fly, Ray? Right? Yeah, it is, <clears throat> Angel. Yeah, Nevada is impressive in the wind. Yeah, I think it did good. Uh, it's a little more powerful. I think uh, the camera definitely seems better. You know, the SD card is in the right spot. Uh, what else, Joe? The sound. The sound. Uh, the sound is the big thing. Yeah. Because they had those Canadian geese on the side, and I was flying within about about eight nine feet of them, and they were just looking at it. They weren't even bothered with it. And when I put the Nevada one up and went that way. One of them decided to put his neck down and take off the other way because that had a little bit of different noise, but, but it wasn't even bothering the geese. 
No. No, I think it's a, uh, you know, I, I don't know, boring. I, I'm sure that, that you know, in the next two to three weeks or whatever, as more people get them, there'll they'll be a few little things about people uh, bitching about things. But I personally, you know, from, from the bag uh, being a really nice carry bag uh, mm-hmm. to, uh, I, you know, all the accessories. I know I got a, a email last night from uh, Sky. Uh, he sent me a case and the ND filters and what else did he say? Something else. Uh, I even forgot, but, uh, so they got, they do have some stuff. They actually have a different charger coming out. Uh, so, uh, I, I, you know, one thing it could be a problem and I'll show Joe yesterday. We talked about it before is that, that <clears throat> the way those batteries slip in that case, it could retain a little heat. But, you know, hey, leave your battery out. But even yesterday, my battery was sitting out. And, of course, when, the way we fly, Joe, when it, it was it was already up to, I think, 84 yesterday. You know, and the yeah. fast forward a month from now, we'll be in the, in the mid-90s. So, those batteries get pretty hot. So, you can't really just snap them back in the charge. But I will say three batteries. That, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I didn't uh, Joe, have you looked at your time? Have you had a continuous f- flight? Or? Uh, let me go back and look. I mean, I think yesterday I never really had a, a continuous flight, you know, from start to finish without, I mean, we were, we were bringing the drones in and kind of checking things. And How, how long did those batteries last, Johnny? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, it says, uh, what's it say, 22 minutes or 20, 23. 23, yeah. I mean, I would think you're going to get between, I don't know, between probably 14 and 18 minutes. That's just, you know. Yep. And, and that's if you're in sport mode. And then, you know, when you get the sticks and you're flying manual, that's going to be even a little less, you know. Captain TV Joe, shit. he'll appreciate this. I'm going to give my oh, physical yeah. therapist this photo. Oh, on yeah. Campus. yeah. They overlooked this pier. The building that I'm going in is a five-story building, and it overlooks the Juno Beach Fishing Pier. That's pretty neat. That's nice. So I'm going to give it to him as a thank you. It, you took that one? Yeah, yeah, I took that. Yeah. The max speed. Good you mode, got a good angle. I think, Joe, what you got up to about 32 miles an hour yesterday? 30. No, yesterday, yesterday I was, because I, 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 I was having problems getting the, the sensors to bring it down low. And I got eight about eight inches because I was under that, uh, that soccer ball when I passed it. But uh, about eight inches off the ground, and I was going 36.4. Now that was fast. You know, and of course, when, uh, you're, uh, when yeah. you're going fast right above the ground, it even looks faster. It gives you a chance to see that, you know, that kind of motion blur there, things going by you. So, all right, Johnny, I just wanted to stop in and say hello quick, Captain Joe. Yeah, have a good day. I got to go up now. All right. My continuous flight was 18 minutes, the longest one I got. 18 minutes? Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's about, uh, you know, and I, I would say that wasn't any really hard flying. You know, like uh, you know, next week when you go and, and and you throw it in the manual, you'll get a little less, Joe. I will not be peer pressure. <laughs> uh, hey, good morning, Ray Kelly. Facebook, uh, sweet. Uh, has, hey, Alex. Question. What is that? Question. Positive. Uh. How would, let's see, somebody's asking, uh, oop, where am I at here? How would uh, you rank the video quality compared to other DJI drones? Well, Joe, that's a question for you, I think. I mean, you I know you haven't done a lot of post-editing stuff, but, I mean, what do you think of the video so far? It's a, there's a, it's a little bit of sharpness. It, it, it's a little sharper than, uh, I'd say it, it's pretty close. <clears throat> it's pretty close to the Mini 3 Pro, maybe a little bit better. It, it doesn't touch what the Air 2S or the Mavic 3 does. But it's, it's unless, unless you really fine tune it. Because I haven't taken a picture with it yet. I'd rather take a picture and see what it Yeah, picture we does. talked about that yesterday. I know, Joe, that's a, uh, I mean, I'll say it's a be a good test. It's just something you don't, it's kind of like when you get back in your truck and you're driving home, or when you get back home, it's like, well, why didn't I take a couple pictures? But it's not really a thing you, you really think about doing with the, uh, uh, I'm saying it's not very hard. All you got to do is press the button and move it over to video yeah. camera mode. But you know, so we'll we'll see. But I'm gonna the, have to do that. I, I forget you could take a picture with it. 
Yeah, and I think the difference here, guys, would be that, and Joe, you probably would agree, you're taking a lot more uh, shorter shorter uh, videos, you know, probably you know, probably less than a minute, and, and it's a little bit easier to fool with those clips, too, because, it's you know, you're doing something that you really want to shoot real quick, more or less, or, or going through something. So, you know, filming, filming three or four or five minutes at a time is probably right. not something you're really going to do with Arvada uh, too yeah. much. What I've been – what I've been doing because I looked at looked at Hot Rods the other day. He did the Avada one, and his was about. I mean, it was it was a full battery of one clip, and that sucker was like seventeen minutes. That whole video, and he was he was ripping the whole time, and I was telling him, I said that that to me, I'd be tired. <laughs> you know, it, it wear me out because what I what I've gotten a habit of doing now is I'll go three to five minutes in a little clip doing what I want to do, make no more than about four or five minutes. Ronnie, and then I'll bring it back, take a second and go again. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, I, you know, personally, I think that's what the FPV, it seemed like everybody went through those spurts uh, a couple of years ago when the FPV was, uh, you know, of course the, the, the big, the big the bills you do yourself. I mean, that was more like I say, uh, you know, like as Rod says, your hair on fire, but you know, just relaxing and flying that drone, uh, you know, even over those fields, Joe, if we went up, I'll tell you what, if I'd have put the Air 3 up, which I had up, and you put the Avada 2 up and just kind of tailed me at a, maybe 200 feet, it, it, it would really look very similar and have, you know, that flight experience would be as fun flying with the Avada as yeah. it would, you know, yeah. and you really wouldn't know the difference if you put a video up. So, I don't, you know, going low. Especially and, at a height. Especially yeah. at height. It's going to yeah. make a difference when you're close to the ground. And you take it like, like I, I was looking at this other thing. I got one coming out, the one coming out of out of one. I did that one. I got that coming out this afternoon. And at the end of it, I flew back over by the geese and got right by the geese. <clears throat> and just looked right at them. And that is perfectly sharp with the Avada one. Yeah. You know, that, Scotty, that was Jack no problem. Robin. Steve Jones, so, Sergeant Jones. I, welcome. I can imagine what the two would have looked like. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it's a great, I, I tell you what, I know, uh, Really hadn't hadn't heard, you know, you'll see pretty soon, you know, a lot of times right after the, the reviewers come out, they'll, you'll get the videos, kind of the next step video is like what I like and what I hate or dislike, not really hate, you know, but I don't think you're going to yeah. see too much of the dislikes. I don't really know. Uh, I, I mean, I really can't think of anything right off the top of my head, you know, and of course those guys are looking at a whole different angles and they're a lot better editors and stuff like that so they're looking at the video quality and stuff but you know hey every time you fly i'll be honest with you you know it's like people tease me uh, you know because i love to fly the v copter i just fly it for fun i hardly ever hit record it's just a fun so sometimes hey take your about two out or even your about hey don't worry about you know filming or going through stuff yeah. just just fly it and have fun it's all about that those goggles and you know hey you're feeling like a pilot that's the closest thing you can get to uh you know the flying experience yeah. Well, I'm expect I was I was expecting the the sticks tomorrow, and I got a notification last night they canceled it off my order. And I, I contacted them and they said they canceled them because they were out of stock and they don't they back ordered and don't know when they're gonna get them. I said then yeah. why didn't you just leave them on the order and ask me? You know. Yeah, and I gotta get I'm gonna call DJI in a few minutes here. I think they open up uh, in another hour because I haven't got my return label on this. I mean, I got, like, I hate to say it, it's like $1,500 sitting out there, and I got this drone here. I just want to get it sent back, you know? So. Good idea. I, I didn't want to get my other, my other, uh, my other one is sold. I got the, uh, I got it packed up right here in the box, and I'm, I'm going to try to get it out today. Do you think it is easy to fly? Let's see. Wait, where is that at? It's easy to fly very slowly for real estate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can almost, uh, well, you can let it hover. You can fly it at a. At one mile an hour, you know. So yeah, I think it's harbor freight. Uh, let's see what Ronnie says. Are you out here, Ronnie? Harbor freight drone. Three more bang for your buck. You should hear it crash. <laughs> yeah, thirty. Yeah, thirty nine. Yeah. Well, hey. Uh, do you think? Let's see the color, the coup. If you think the action force can land footage and film. Color science is a solid match. There you go. Oh, yeah, Dusty. Okay, 150. Wow. Uh, yeah, 
I'll, I'll take that for the box and you know I'm, I'll, I'll ship it to you and my, the drone might not be in there but just tell DJ how to send your money back you're going to do another review on it to be the right review <laughs> those sticks uh if you have those that keep it there yeah and, and that's uh something angel you know we angel texted me yesterday was i was actually sent me a voice message so i'm not sure uh i'm sure there's you know there's it's just another version of the sticks and but if, hey i got my old controller sitting here that i fly my uh home built fpv so i'm gonna just hang tight on that i am keeping that uh and we'll see but hey, got a feeling they're gonna do that, Joe. So I, you were thinking though yesterday. I was so we flew the Air Three with the RC Two with the goggles, but the RC Pro will not work with the Air Three anyway, right? I can't see where it will do that. You know, it, I don't see where it would do it, it with the Mavic Three. I don't think they say you can do the Mavic Three with both of these with the Tegra goggles also with the motion controller and i don't see where you're going to be able to use the rc pro with it yeah no dusty i'm always selling i'm always selling moving up you know that's that's one thing you know i, I would say uh, believe it or not don't get too attached to your drones because here's the deal you know if you got an or if you got a xena uh xena geez if you got an avato <laughs> original and uh yeah you know you think you might want to hold on to it and you think you're gonna fly it but i'll be honest with you after flying the avada 2 i'm not saying there's no reason to fly the avada the one but uh it's still a great drone if you want to pick up pick it up at a great use price uh you know as of right now you can still pick up air 2s's really at a great price which is still a great drone so hell yeah uh dj i would say yeah i wish they would john yeah. Uh, let's yeah, see. Let's keep hey, I can fly the Air 3 with my O, which is 04, with my Integra goggles in motion, too. Yeah, you can. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, Emporium. That's what I need. But, uh, no, it's fun. It was a great experience yesterday. And, and hey, you know, when you first get into those uh, goggles and menus, there's a lot of settings uh, that you can do. I mean, from the Four, three, sixteen, nine. Uh, you know, wide angle view, uh, normal view. Uh. And one thing I, I will say that was very interesting. Okay, I don't know if you see my little video on when you did an update the other day. Uh, they took away normal mode. You know, when you would switch it, <laughs> it would say what, what would it say? Center, center mode. It would say P mode for position mode and sport. But when you fly with the goggles in on the menu it when you switch it to the normal mode it says normal in the corner on the goggles with the air three so yeah. that's kind of weird and then one other that thing might be one of the bug fixes too yeah and then one other thing joe we noticed we didn't see you can see the home point the virtual home point moving around but you didn't see the little uh, compass and in, in directional arrow down there in the goggles of the uh, while you were flying in the goggles three now you know I didn't I didn't try it I I think I had it in maybe the widest angle maybe if you put it in a normal I don't know so that's something we'll have to kind of test. Uh, let's see anyone looking for barely used Mini Two I'm selling mine for three hundred yeah that's hey that's a good price for Mini Two still a great drone. Uh, it's, it's P mode yeah well Angel it what it is P mode. When I when I took it back up just in the RC two, but in the goggles of the Air three with the goggles three in the screen, it was saying uh, in mode normal. So that's kind of weird. Same drone, two different uh, you know variations. So and that was only that little compass and a little directional arrow was not in a corner of in, in the goggles. So. Uh, that's uh I don't know, like I say, maybe I had it on wide view and maybe you gotta go to a, a, a different view in the goggles. I don't I don't know. So and then as more people test that in the next couple of days, uh we'll get a lot more answers about that. Uh yep, a little bug fix. Yeah. And that's no big deal. I mean, I you know, that that in mode, but it is what's what's weird about that is in on the remote controller. 
and then it says P position mode. And they used to that used to be on the Phantoms. I think my Phantom Three standard. When you would flip it, it had the P mode. So I don't really know what that is. But you know, it doesn't. You know, and it, I guess it diverts back. You know, or reverse back to the P a normal mode the minute you take off. So, but yeah. So Joe, what what do you think? You you made a good purchase having buyer's remorse, or? I think I made a good purchase. I'm, I'm upset that the fact they canceled the sticks, but you know, I was I was actually thinking about canceling it myself. That was the funny part because I told you yesterday, I I, I had fun with it with the motion controller, and I'm not going to do manual, so why have the stick? Yeah, you know, people. I know people love to. I say bitch about that RC. Uh, I mean, the uh, motion controller two and three and all. But I tell you what, it, yeah, it is. I mean, I hate to say this, and of course, you, you might people might say the same thing about the X. But wherever you put the circle, the drone's going to go. To me, the X with the sticks is not as accurate. To me, I mean, I guess it is in some way. But yeah, I mean, you, I think you're flying faster with the sticks. It's more, uh, it's definitely you, it's your thumb or your pinch, you know, so uh, it's it's just well, def different to biggest, me. Biggest thing I noticed yesterday, and this was, I noticed this, I didn't even notice it until right before I was going to sleep last night when I uh, when I scheduled the uh, Avada 1 video. I was looking at it and I was looking, I was watching and I said, you know, the coming out of the curves, it's not as smooth. And I said, it had to be the wind. Then I thought about it and said, no, I was flying with the sticks. So the difference in the way you come out of things with the with the motion controller versus the sticks, the sticks, it, it makes everything a lot smoother. Yeah, really yeah. I would say that, you know. But uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I will say this, you know, like, all right, Joe, that, uh, for instance, the guy that was cutting the grass yesterday, if he would have stopped, I mean, he was watching us. He probably think what these guys doing, but you know, we could have got that guy off of that tractor and gave him that motion three controller and he could have flew that drone. And I think people yeah. are very reluctant. You know, you just hear, cause I know my daughter, you know, I've been having drones since I think 2018 and she's never even held a controller. But when I got the Avada one, she actually flew it, you know, and uh, now right. you're a little nervous standing next to them. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. But, you know, if they go slow and take it easy, DeMarco Moore, what's up? John. Hey, DeMarco. Uh, K Tag, I'm at work. Hope everyone. Yeah, John, we were just talking about Joe and I went out yesterday and did some so, tests. So what you're saying is next time we go out there, we're going to get that girl with the dog to fly the drone. Yeah, we'll even let the dog fly the drone, maybe. No, but uh, it, it is it is really easy to do. It's easier than you think, uh, especially like where we were at yesterday. I mean, I would, I mean, I, I you know, hey, right here in my house, in between the house, Joe, I know you live in, in the apartment. It might be somebody, you know, you might be a little nervous right between the trees and stuff. But where we were at yesterday, I'll be honest with you, they really, anything, they really couldn't hurt. I mean, you know. Well, to tell you a quick story, my, my Marine Corps son, when he was down here in December, uh, he wanted to fly the Avada. So I said, okay, let me give it to you. So we went and got in the little gazebo area. So look got like three picnic tables in it. And I put, and I had him flying it with the motion controller. And I've got it actually on my site. It says how not to fly the Avada. And he would go about two inches and stop, two inches and stop. It kept going back and forth. So I was laughing at him, right? My daughter called me and said, I need you to come to the call quick. I said, well, I'm with Nick. So I wound up going out there and told him, I said, look, just fly in the open area. Don't go crazy with it. And if anything happens, press this button. So when I got back, when I got back, he had been flying around. I hadn't seen what he was doing. And he said, it's telling me the battery's low. I said, well, bring it back and land it. So when he brought it back and landed it, we changed batteries. And I put it in a, and he, he took off again. And I will just tell you, he's a need, he's a need for speed kind of guy. He went 17 miles an hour around the tree, came back down the thing and then whip right past my head under in the pavilion and i tell you what i did i couldn't move i, I just i was thinking oh my god yeah i tried to go through joe's legs right there but he, he oh. yeah but that but that was within six minutes of flying 
he was whipping through a pavilion with the Avada one. Yeah, people say, oh, you went right between the new trucks here. Yeah, hey, well, that's... No, but it was, it's just a fun, it's a fun, you, you can see all the space we got right there, and, and I think that's a great place to, to test the drone. Yeah. Look at the volleyball there, sitting out, the soccer ball sitting out in the field by selling. You know what's funny, Joe, that guy cut around that ball, never got off the track there, of course. You know? Well, he stopped. I thought he was going to move. I, I think he stopped and moved it. There's Joe's uh, Devada with his little whip and little flippy. With the duck on it. Yeah, I had forgot I had the duck on it when I was flying it. And like I said, I was going 36 with it, flipping it, doing everything. And it came back. Yeah, one of these barrels got me on the very first uh, time I did. Actually, yeah, actually, but I did get to use a turtle mode yesterday. So, yeah. There you go. And Lance is going to probably get me for not going through those barrels. I'm going to say I went through the other space. Well, just, hey, Joe, just, just say one of these is yours. This is Joe right here. <laughs> is this the one that hit? No, I didn't get the one that hit. I don't think I was recording. No, I just I just did a little flip and come back through them, yeah. Hey, but it's just a fun, you know what? It's a fun drone. You don't have to, you know, personally... Uh, like I say, you don't have to record everything you do, you know, just get out right. there. Who is in here? Uh, did I see? Oh, Gary, Brand Ariel. What's up? Folks got to start my day yeah. out, as Gary says. And yeah, Alex, uh, have a great day. I seen, I seen that Al Search Your Own went live this morning, but I, I didn't. I, I guess I wasn't up. DeMarco Moore. DeMarco, get that drone ordered. Sell that uh, potato. Get rid of the potatoes. Make fries, French fries out of that thing. <laughs> no, but it's a great drone. I tell you what, I'm I'm very excited about the uh, about a two. I, I I really do think that it's a it's a big step up. I mean, you know, a lot of times we all sit here and bitch about you know maybe if they would have just changed the camera, left it the same size, left the SD card in the same spot. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't know, you know, it's uh, kept the battery the same, but man, it, it's, it's a lot. The battery uh, slips in and I'll tell you what, it's not going to pop out like uh, the, the bot, the battery on the Avada, the original Avada will pop off pretty easily. I will say, I mean, because it's top heavy. Uh, yeah. I do like the way it charges the Avada, the original Avada, uh, you know, cause you can set in the, the, you know, the temperature, they'll cool down pretty easy, but uh, Hey, it's a, uh, it's a great drone. I mean, you know, and, and Joe, we were talking yesterday, man, you know, usually when a new drone comes out, you might get in our little group, say, of, of maybe 100, 150 people that we kind of, you know, uh, chat with or watch, you know, during the week. I mean, I would say that probably probably more than 50 percent of the people bought that bottle, too. So, you know, at least. Yeah. I mean, as you go back to the Mavic 3, that's really not. I mean, as a now there's a pretty good amount of Mavic Three owners, but originally, you know, and uh, it wasn't. So yeah, the Avada Three. I mean, the Avada Two is a great drone, and uh, a lot of reviewers We're making them money now. Yeah, yeah, and you know, we talked about. I think that uh, hey, you know, what's exciting is they did send it to to Nurk and Bardwell. Uh, and, and, and those guys are really liking it. And, and I think the biggest thing there is the goggles because when they push those goggles, people who build their drones with that O3 or if it's an O4 type air unit, I mean, they're going to sell goggles and O3 air units. So, you know, for, so that's a, that's a big plus for them. But yeah, I mean, to me, the price went down. Uh, you got two years of, uh, what, care refresh for the 99 bucks. So $99. Yeah, you can't beat that. Yeah, and they also, John Flynn, you, you're right. I mean, look, we did a show last Thursday morning at 9 o'clock, and within two hours later, Joe had his drone, you know. So that's uh, before, you know, a couple, you know, go back. And the last few drones have been pretty much like that, uh, probably since the Mini 3 Pro, the Air 2S. The Air 3 was already available, so, but uh, – yeah, yeah, mine was ready at ten o'clock in the morning when the store opened, and I ordered it at nine about nine fifteen. Yeah, so that's pretty cool to have it that quick. You know, I mean, and and hey, that's a good that's a good job because you know here's the deal. I think uh, 
you know, personally, I think when somebody uh, makes their mind up to buy something, you know, it's, it's good right then and you, you go out and get it, you know, and even when you're selling a used drone, you know, hey, if somebody interested in it and they want it, hey, go ahead and ship it. And, and uh, you know, I think that that's the thing. Uh, let's see. DJ must have known it was going. Well, yeah, I and, and I'll I mean, I don't know, say go out on a limb here because this definitely I mean, I, I will say that this drone. The Avada 2 will outsell the the FPV original and Avada 1 together. I mean, the numbers will be that huge. Uh, I had to wait a couple weeks for, okay, for your Mini 3 Pro. Uh, let's see. I'm with you, Angel Drunga. Yeah, I mean, Gary. Uh, yeah, Gary, just, just go. Hey, Gary, grab both shorts. Uh, uh, Tell him to send you his uh, credit card. Michael Blair, yeah, tell my wife that because more fish forced me to buy his MacBook Pro. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm on a mic. I'm on a MacBook now streaming, Mike. So it's, uh, I, I, I like the MacBook. I have the, uh, what is this one? The MacBook Air with the M3. Although, I don't know why this thing. Got one spot on this mouse. If you hit the right spot, I am off my own stream. <laughs> uh but no it's it's a great drone and hey get out there if you have it uh hey you know take your time with the menu go through it i mean that menu is big you can actually tweak the uh the rates in it i hadn't really done that joe you hadn't changed any of the rates huh no yeah. you can go in i think we did that i did do it with the avado because when i was flying manual i changed some stuff so but i'm not gonna fool with it right now till i get the uh so I can fly with the sticks and see how it flies. Yeah, I figure that if, if I need to change rates, it means I'm going to fly manual and it's not happening. Yeah. Well, you can change. I mean, there's some stuff you can change the way it, the way it banks and yaws and stuff. So I, I you know, I'm not sure, but you know, I, I don't know if you see a big difference in that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, with the sticks you might, but um, with with the motion control you're not. Yeah. Well, I think, you know what, it's all about the flying experience. And I I, I mean, I hate to say, I know, Joe, you're a photographer, and I, I see some of the pictures that, that people put up. But, hey, you know, just get out there. And I think you're you're losing the flying experience for trying to worry about getting a, a great picture. And I, mean, I don't mean, yeah. hey, you get great pictures. It's a great camera. You, you get great video. But, you know, just get out there and actually just fly some time. And, hey, take a day. that Don't even hit the record button. Just concentrate on the flying and, and the uh, – <laughs> The menu, the menu of the drone and the, uh, the features, you know, even um, I, I know with the Air 3, the Mavic 3, there's a lot of features and, and uh, you know, modes in there that, that uh, people never even use, you know. Uh, let's see, MacBook Pro is great. Yeah, oh yeah, you'll like it. Had to wait several months. Uh, I hear you. Let's see. Yeah, I just how you could have been coming from Windows. Oh, it might. Yeah, you'll get it. I got a my granddaughter. Yeah, she's gonna get a new Mac. Well, she didn't have a Mac before. I don't know what they use at school, but uh, so and she goes off to college here pretty soon. I'm hitting battery depletion with my Mini Two up 400 feet, only 50 percent selling. Oh wow. Hmm. Might be a, just a bad battery, I guess. Mini two, yeah, and those batteries. Well, yeah, mini two is the mini, a bad battery. Mini two is a little bit older. I mean, it, I guess it depends how old the battery is. Great for editing. All right, JoJo, I think I'm gonna hop off. I think Mr. Paul Murray will be going live. Well, he may have went live already. So yeah, he. I think he went live a few minutes ago. Okay, <laughs> yeah. but I got. I haven't Joe, even got my cup of coffee yet. Joe, uh, Joe, you got something in the mail coming to you. Uh, it's in a little pink. Uh, it's a little pink and uh, what is it? I don't know. Pink and something uh, envelope. No, it's a regular envelope, Joe. So be be checking your checking your box. Got something coming to you. But uh, yeah, if you want to jump on, Paul will be on this morning, and uh, they'll always they always talking about drones and seeing what's up in the community. No fly for fun show tonight, but. Uh, I may go live later tonight. I don't know. Since there's no show, nothing planned. Next week, uh, we're only doing a, well, I'm doing a Fly for Fun show every other week. Captain Ray moves on the opposite weeks when he was supposed to be doing a show. He is doing it now on Thursday. So, uh, 
No, no fly for fun show tonight, but next week I do have Jack from Half Chrome, and he's going to catch us up on that Spectre drone. And I think Jack has the Avada 2, so we'll get caught up on that. Always news about the Avada 2. Hey, will it be the next drone? I know we, we just, this one just came out, so uh, we'll see what's coming out. Uh, Insta360, I think, had a new camera come out yesterday, so a lot of talk about that. It's kind of expensive in my opinion, but that's just me. Uh, other than that, I'll see you, uh, I don't know, maybe tonight if we're not doing anything, might do a little quick live stream, but, uh, next Wednesday night, fly for fun show with Jack from half Chrome. Joe, I'll talk to you. Talk to you later.